As I walk down the bustling streets, my mind can't help but wander back to where this all began, the turning point that would redefine my entire existence. I was just eight when it happened, the day my dad walked out and left a void in our lives that my mom and I didn't know how to fill. I remember her asking me, her eyes filled with a mix of hope and desperation, if I could do her a big favor. I didn't understand the weight of it then, but I agreed without hesitation. She revealed a dream of hers, one she never got to live out, participating in a beauty pageant. She longed for a daughter to share this dream with, but instead, she had me, her son Thomas. Would you, just this once, be my Tony, she asked. I think I agreed because I saw a glimmer of joy in her eyes that had been absent for too long. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, a fun secret between us. But somehow, one time became many, and Tony became a character I played so well that even I sometimes forgot who was hiding beneath the layers of dresses and makeup. The pageant was a gateway. Placing third felt like a win for us, and the celebration was the first time I'd seen Mom genuinely happy since Dad left. It wasn't long before I started taking hormone blockers, my body becoming a canvas for a persona that was half fiction. Mom said it was necessary to keep Tony believable for the modeling gigs that had started to bring in much needed money. I became the daughter she never had, and she, the architect of a dream I never asked for. The realization that Tony was no longer just a role to play came gradually. It was in the softness of my features, the sway in my step, and the ease with which I moved through the world as her. With every passing day, the line between Thomas and Tony blurred, until it vanished entirely. My life became a dance of dresses and photoshoots, a symphony of soft whispers and the gentle brush of makeup against my skin. The hormone treatments had sculpted my body into something new, something that felt surprisingly right. I embraced the femininity that once felt foreign, and it cloaked me like a second skin, comfortable and familiar. As Tony, I learned to find joy in the delicate intricacies of being her, the way a dress hugged my waist, the laughter and camaraderie with other models, the warmth of the spotlight. My mother watched with pride-filled eyes, and I began to understand. This wasn't just about fulfilling her dreams, it was about finding my place in a world where I had felt lost. In the quiet of the night, when the world was asleep, I'd sometimes catch a glimpse of Thomas in the mirror. But instead of longing, there was acceptance. He had given me a gift, the courage to explore a life beyond what was expected of a boy named Thomas. He wasn't gone, he had evolved, as I had, into someone braver, someone who could love the reflection staring back. I became a celebrated figure, a model who defied norms and expectations. I found a community that embraced me, friends who knew both Thomas and Tony, and loved them equally. In this new life, I was happy, genuinely happy, not just pretending for the sake of others. And in that happiness, I found freedom. The journey wasn't without its moments of doubt or fear, but they were just that, moments. They passed, leaving behind a stronger person, someone who had found peace in the life my mother envisioned for me, but more importantly, a life I chose for myself, as Tony.